Do you, do you want to talk about your music a bit as well? I mean, how do you make yeah. it? What do you do? What, what the process? Yeah. Is basically, like, so I come from like recording four tracks and things like that. So I just bought a load of equipment, and instead of trying to make it sound like an orchestra or saying it's not going to be able to do, make it sound like the eighties. That's when the machines were made. I've got a drum machine when I was about sixteen, and I used to put that on everything I could. So I just mess around with tapes, and then eventually I'm, I'm watching the film tonight, and I'm thinking the PC and the software and the doors gave us all the opportunity, the crack software, the things like that. I come from Amigas and STs and the old way of programming. And like I say, I've been through all different styles of genres. And in the end, it was like, let's just do this because that's what that stuff's made to do. And I've built up. And on the female thing, I've actually got a solo project myself under the name Gina Calabresi. Which was an experiment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She so sounds like it, like. So you, can. From my yeah. you know, the girls are Miami Vice. So all the, all the guys are doing Crockett and Tubbs and the Miami Vice thing. So I chose Gina and Trudy. <laughs> Put this album yeah. out, used all the track names from Miami Vice. <laughs> Look on Spotify, A.D. Stallone's got a million plays, Gina's got two. Oh. <laughs> so that tells you oh. what the sort of dynamic the scene never is. Die. So, yeah. I thought I'd try that one out a few years back and they still haven't worked out that that's me as well. <laughs> but yeah, well, I think yeah. I just, I just laugh at the whole thing. So I go back to the MySpace days, the MSN days, and yeah. when we didn't know what we were doing, this was not even thought of, you know, that, the name yeah. Synthwave. When we made the film, I didn't understand what you kept talking about. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know that it was an actual movement. And now I can see that it's actually not a manufactured term just to no. put a few people together. It actually yeah. does seem like a genuine movement. And there's yeah. half of the guys in the film I've come back to the scene because we was off doing other things. I was making noise music and tape and... I mean, this is what I really want to ask you about though, particularly is, do you think that it is a DIY movement? Yes, for me, Or do you think yes. it's more of a club culture? Because, I mean, what's great about this film is there's just no no club culture in it at all. And I'm like, oh, thank And another thank thing you, I'd like to say... Because that's what I have to watch a lot of, you know. Well, if you're talking about dance music, you think about dance music. Yeah, it's totally. in different and I think demographics, electronic, different areas. I think electronic, I think This clubs, was one of the so... first genres to work worldwide. So there's a guy in Germany, there's a guy in Sweden, yeah. there's a guy in America. Yeah. And we all started talking via the internet. That wouldn't have happened yeah. in the 80s or in the 90s because you're not going to post your demo. I mean, and gaming is really big influence on a lot of Very this tech too. So, yeah, and, the, and the films and the movies. Yeah. So, and I, I think back as well, I used to buy the soundtracks because I knew Ron Schultz never was or Sylvester Stallone. I didn't necessarily know some of the pop stars and things. You knew all the big names, but you had them albums and you watched the film, so you'd buy the soundtrack. Sure, yeah. And that would get you into that style of music, I suppose, and more the cinematic stuff. And the, so the actual scene, kind of, do you have a touring schedule? Do you, I mean, I, I check your Twitter out. Yes.